Welcome to the beautiful month of March. Not only is it springtime, but uh, one of my favorite holidays ever, and that's St. Patrick's Day, the High Holy Day. Uh, yes, my real last name is Ryan. I am 99.9% .9 Irish, so what I want to do today is kind of school you on St. Patrick's Day. Everybody is Irish, um, but just want to get you a little more informed of the traditions and uh, the culture of Ireland so that you can be schooled and ready to go on St. Patrick's Day and be full of knowledge. So first of all, not all Irish names have an O in front of it. So that's a big misconception. A lot of people they say to me, oh, you're Irish, Ryan? What about O, Ryan? Nope, you don't need an O in front of all the names. Uh, also, a clattering, uh, which is something that I sport and also have a tattoo of a clattering is very important to Irish culture. And um, so I'm gonna explain what it's about. So the crown stands for uh, royalty the hand stand for friendship and the heart stands for love. And so if you yourself are wearing a clattering with the heart, if your heart is taken, the bottom of the heart needs to face up towards your hand. That means your heart is taken. So, but if you turn the ring around and the heart is facing outwards, that means your heart is open and you're available. So sometimes a lot of people use a clad out for a type of wedding ring, or it's also known as a friendship ring. And also you're not to give the ring, you're not supposed to purchase it yourself. It is to be given to you. So there's a little history on the clatter ring. The Blarney Stone. Lots of people, when they go to Ireland, they want to kiss the Blarney Stone. Uh, just a heads up for you, the locals actually urinate on the Blarney Stone. So you probably don't want to kiss it, and people think you kiss it for good luck, but actually Blarney means the gift of gab. So that means the gift of you being able to talk. So uh, obviously, yes, I'm, I'm Irish because I do, I, I do have the gift of Blarney. That is for sure. Also, um, not all... Irish people like corned beef and cabbage. Um, not a fan whatsoever. Don't like corned beef, don't like cabbage. My mom would make it every year and I would absolutely protest. So I'd probably end up eating like SpaghettiOs or something. <laughs> um, also an Irish blessing. This is my favorite thing to have. I have a copy of it on my desk and I keep it with me at all times. Um, the Irish are known for their great poetry and stories. So here is something for you, an Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Beautiful. That's beautiful. I love that. Also, just uh, in closing, don't have to remember all this, but one thing that my dad used to always say to all of his kids, that if you are lucky enough to be Irish, then you are lucky enough. So there you go. I now officially dub everybody in the Northland Irish and happy St. Patrick's Day.